In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you compare your Google Home to a bigger Bluetooth speaker that you might already have. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can pair a Google Home device to a bigger Bluetooth speaker that you might already have. Now, this is super useful because anything that you play like media or books or whatever from your Google Home will play on the bigger Bluetooth speaker. Now, if you are using like alarms or timers or just a response from the Google Assistant, it will only play out of the Google Home speaker itself. So we'll show you some of that. To get started, all we need to do is head into the Google Home application and select the Devices tab at the top right. And then we scroll down and we find our Google device. So here we have the Office speaker. Select Menu and then go into the Settings. And then we want to select Default Music Speaker. So then here we have the option to pair a Bluetooth speaker. So you could choose another Google Home device that is already in your home and on your network or a Google Chromecast audio device but we wanna add a Bluetooth speaker. So I'm gonna select pair Bluetooth speaker. And then you need to go to the Bluetooth speaker and enable pairing mode, usually by holding the Bluetooth icon. So then in the application here, it found the HK Onyx. I just select that speaker and then it will pair the Google Home Mini to the HK speaker. Now any audio that I play out of the Google Home will play on the speaker. Hey Google. Play Man of Constant Sorrow by the Soggy Bottom Boys. Okay, I am a man of constant sorrow by Soggy Bottom Boys. Here it is on Google Play Music. So there you can hear the response came out of here, and now it is playing the music over here. So I can use the volume on the speaker to change, or you can actually use the Google Home device to change the volume as well. And then if you want to play or pause, all you would need to do is activate the Google Home and do that. Hey Google. Pause. So now if we want to play something else, Anything that we ask it to play, whether it be from uh, Pandora, Google Play Music, or any of the media, will play out of the speaker. Hey Google, play my book. Okay, reading 1984 on Google Play Books. I'll go back to where you stopped last time. Face gazed from the wall. So here is my audiobook and it is playing out of the speaker as well. So when you are done using the Bluetooth connection, you can actually ask the Google Home to disconnect and it will disconnect from the Bluetooth speaker. Hey Google. Disconnect Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth is disconnected. So there it turned it off and any music would then continue to play out of the Google Home mini speaker. Brother is watching. And there my audiobook is playing out of here. Beneath it ran. So then if you want to reconnect, all you would need to do is ask it to connect or connect Bluetooth. Hey Google. Connect. All right, looking for paired devices. And there it has paired back up and you are ready to play the music out of the mini to the Bluetooth speaker. Now, if you want to reset and choose a new speaker to do this, just head back into the Google Home application and go back under the default music speaker and then here you would just select reset and that will reset the Bluetooth connection and you could choose a new speaker. You can also go back and go under the paired Bluetooth devices and here you can see I have the HK speaker there at the top. I could also select the X and that would unpair the device. So now let's say I want to use this new speaker in a group with other Google Home devices that I have. You can do that. So here I have the Bluetooth speaker connected to the Google Home Mini and then I have a Google Home Max. So if you go into the Devices tab and then you would find the speaker you want to use. So here I have the Office speaker. I select Settings and I select Create Group and then I choose the other device that I want to add to the group. So we are going to name this Office Group. And then there we have our two speakers, the office speaker and the max. So I select save, and then it is going to create that audio group. And then by voice, all they need to do is ask the Google Home Mini to play on my office group, and it will play on both of these speakers at the same time. So back to the devices tab, here we have office group. I just need to select enable by voice and then say, yes, I'm in. Hey Google. Play Matt Carney crazy talk on the office group speakers. Sure, Crazy Talk from Google Play Music. We used to be playing on Office Group. In the back seat, wasting time. All right, now it is playing on both of these speakers at the same time. So it's playing on the Bluetooth 
and the Google Home Max. So you can really have your home filled with all the music and audio speakers that you already have, even if you just have a couple of Google Home Minis. And if you are completely ready to unpair the Bluetooth device from the Google Home, you just need to ask it to unpair those devices. Hey Google, unpair Bluetooth devices. You wanna clear your list of paired Bluetooth devices, right? Yes. All right, cleared. All right, and there it disconnected and you are ready to connect a brand new speaker to this Google Home mini device. And of course you can replicate this throughout your house on other Google Homes. One other thing you can do with this is pair the Google Home mini to a set of Bluetooth headphones instead of pairing it to a speaker and you can use all the same commands and everything there. If you guys have any further questions about how this works, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see how to pair your mobile phone to your Google Home speaker, please check out the video over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.